Yesterday morning, Niji Sanji English hinted at what many believed would be a brand new group with this flashbang of a tweet that has four different quotes. I sharpen my claws, I don my mask, I polish my sword, I seek my desire. And well, like many thought, it ended up being a brand new group of three talents. Those talents include Claude Clawmark, Victoria Brightshield, and Kunai Nakasato. The three of them have already taken to Twitter to show off their models rigging and themselves with Claude saying hi with this video here of his model moving around. Victoria did the same saying I'm schmoovin showing the model moving side to side and then we had Kunai saying I think we're gonna have lots of fun together with her model as well. I don't believe we had other members of Niji Sanji showing off their models this early but I may be blanking on that. But that wouldn't be the first thing that's weird about this group because Niji Sanji is debuting them tomorrow. Yeah they were announced last night and they're debuting tomorrow October 27th at 7 p.m. PDT. They're only giving them about 48 hours to hype themselves up and hype everyone else up for their debuts, unlike the week that they usually give the talents. Very weird, and I've seen some people upset and confused about that, and I'm also questioning why they would do something like that. People throwing around accusations saying that it's because Niji Sanji lost multiple members recently, so they're trying to debut as fast as possible, but maybe this is just going to be what they're going to start doing going forward. Maybe they believe debuting almost immediately after being announced is going to be best for their viewership. This had people creating things like what kind of Niji fan are you with Petra saying so even Eluxium is too old to be included on this now OMFG yeah so if you were around when Noctix came out you're a prehistoric fan apparently anyway there were tons of people excited about this group however if you looked at the quote retweets on that original post there were a lot of people upset with them announcing a new group already also upset with the video itself that they announced with the debut with people saying what the f is this audio mixing how is it that I can't fund myself in this industry without an unreal related day job, but whoever's responsible for this shit is working with the second biggest name in VTubing, embarrassing. And they're talking about these voice lines here. Here to make my mark. Let's get to looting. I see your heart racing. Even more people saying, why am I hearing this through an Xbox microphone? And then we had people saying, Niji, stop. We don't want them. Then someone said, overdesigned mobile game art check. Goofy children's cartoon nominative determination naming scheme. Determinism, not determination. I'm sorry. Voices that don't fit. Check. Two days warning. So no sub buildup. Fanfare. Check. Another small mix section to neuter merch slash collab opportunities. Check. 2434 Ian Branch lessons learned. X. Then someone said, this is kind of why I stopped following debuts after Iluna. They're starting to get kind of boring. I'm not excited for any of these people. Their designs have nothing of appeal to me. And then there were plenty of other people complaining about the sound design and also just all around not generally excited for this branch and upset with Niji Sanji for debuting people so soon. Something that people have been upset with for the last two years now. Niji Sanji constantly debuting new members after like six months, three months. They constantly just pump out new members. I'm not going to touch any more on that because that's something I touch on all of the time whenever the new members debut. People are always going to be upset with Niji Sanji constantly debuting brand new members. But following the backlash of the announcement, we had Niji Sanji tweeting out a brand new tweet and deleting the old one, saying this announcement has been re-uploaded due to an issue with the audio source. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused, and here is the new audio with that video. Here to make my mark. Let's get to looting. I see your heart racing. This had people saying, you're telling me they made a new version of the trailer and the audio is stilfed for the talents. What in the Turtle Beach headset, Mike? Someone saying, do please fire your sound mixing person. They sound the same because all they really did was just turn up the volume. Someone else saying, you're telling me someone from any color signed off on that talent audio, not once, but twice. Yet not really the greatest look and no real reason for them to even update the post if all they were going to do was just turn them up because I couldn't tell any difference in the audio whatsoever. But yeah, in other news, Claude Clawmark of the new gen was already shoved in Twitter jail saying, test, test, I've been stuck in Twitter jail for like the last six hours. Then quote retweeting it, guys, I'm not out of jail. I can only see my notice and tweet, I guess. With Ike Evelyn, who was previously in Twitter jail saying, at least you can tweet. Claude continuing at 11 a.m. this morning saying, rattling in my cell bars with my metal cup. Let me see tweets again, please. 
also good morning i took a nap and then saying a few hours ago i can tweet but i can't see tweets vv can't tweet but she can see tweets it just keeps getting funnier yeah another one of them was shoved in twitter jail <laughs> with kunai saying victoria is stuck in twitter jail banging on the iron bars of her enclosure and can't tweet so she asked me to do for her with this image attached let her out let her out let her out but the news with this gen doesn't stop there as they have already gotten themselves into a bit of drama with Claude Claw Mark's Oshi Mark because they share the exact same Oshi Mark as Magni Desmond from Holo Tempest that has graduated. This caused people to get very upset about this on Twitter, but this person saying, if you're saying it's just an emoji, check yourself. I don't agree with everyone's actions, but don't you dare minimize our pain like that. Your Oshi is still here, ours isn't. Those who are taking extreme actions, our Maglord wouldn't like this. Remember, we're made from love that being said let people do what's within their comfort level and stop judging them it's better to avoid than to create drama when nothing can be done about the situation let the magmites find their own peace people quote retweeting this with bro that's just childish i miss him as much as everyone else but being upset over an emoji when the other dude even has a double oshi mark like poor guy hasn't even debuted yet and already has people mad at him because of the most stupid reason ever like there's so many overlapping oshi marks in holo niji such as these two it's not because your Oshi graduated that theirs become exclusive and no one else can use it. Stop bothering the dude, he ain't doing anything wrong. Someone else saying, I won't disregard everyone's feelings toward the grad situation because I was hurt too, but I think this is childish to be upset over a different liver from another company sharing an Oshi mark. There are plenty of VTubers who happen to share the same emoji that represents them. Another saying, at some point, y'all just need to go outside and get some fresh air. Like, arguing about emojis probably isn't healthy. Stay safe out there. But someone else saying, y'all don't see me bitching that both Maria and Kuro use this hard emoji and bro literally came from the same company as her give it a rest and touch grass your oshi is dead anyway so it's fair game that last part may be a little uncalled for then someone else saying oh actually be serious he's not dead and which this person quote retweeted their own tweet saying i just woke up and everyone quote retweeting negatively is missing the point quote they're not dead they're not them anymore they have to pretend to be someone new there's boundaries we can't pass you don't go to kuro saying mister did you see what vox did we didn't get a graduation no goodbyes just ripped apart in silence. I was in a bad place and I found happiness and started smiling again by enjoying the vibes of these VTubers. It's amazing how people can't empathize. You don't need to agree, just understand. I know how to move on. I watch them now still, but that doesn't mean the pain we went through isn't real. How about you go ask all your Niji Oshis about the pain they had to go through when Yugo, Nina, and Mista left? Quote, why are you still sad about them? You're still friends IRL. Also, we're not gatekeeping the emoji. We're just venting about reliving sad memories by seeing something familiar. And when you downplay pain by saying quote it's just an emoji you are not respecting people's experiences so that's the new niji sanji group and the whole situation going on on twitter surrounding oshi marks let me know what you all think about everything that we talked about in this video down below and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day Bye bye